Fishermen, Gentlemen, Gentlemen， 欢迎到豪给力老师的风险管理课程。And in this video, you will learn about leverage, Gangan, how to use leverage, Zhe Sun, how to use stop losses, and Zhao Yi Lun Dian, trade thesis and trade invalidation. This. Is a very ganhua shipping, German, and it's not a short dopamine-filled TikTok. It's a longer video. So if you want to learn how to trade, you're in the right place. 坐下，坐一杯茶，好好学习。咱们开始吧。Now, firstly, I want to talk about the most important thing in crypto trading, and that is survive. Shangsun D E. This chart is the gold price in Germany from 1914 to 1923, Germany's hyperinflation period. 随着中央银行放水印钱 ，crypto is following the same pattern: volatile price moves. So, if you used leverage to trade gold in the 1920s, You would have easily been liquidated on one of these down wicks, and this is why we don't trade 100% of our portfolio on leverage. Personally, I leave around 20% of my crypto portfolio on different centralized exchanges, and I really can't emphasize this enough, Gurman. The worst thing in trading is when you see an opportunity and you know you can make so much money on this amazing opportunity, but Wenty Lila, ni mei chenla. You're broke. You have no money to invest, so you miss all these opportunities. You never want to fire all of your bullets, Gumman. You always want to have some bullets, some financial capital bullets left in your pistol. So if an opportunity comes. Boom! You can take advantage. Like 2020, the COVID dip when Bitcoin went all the way down, I think to three thousand five hundred dollars. When things like this happen, you want to be ready and have money on hand to take the opportunity. Survival is always your first priority. Trading is war. You can't help your family if you're dead. Okay? Don't die. The first rule of trading and life, Gumman, is don't die. Survive. Okay, number D E Joshua, you 必须有一个交易论点 What is a 交易论点 A trade thesis? Well, it's easy. It's just an idea, a shangfa. Okay, why are you buying this coin? Because you think it's going up. That's fine. That's your shangfa. But the important thing about every trade idea is that it must have an invalidation, a 失效条件 Okay. What is a shushao tiao jian? It's when you know you're wrong. And most traders in crypto are actually jiao tai men, and they don't have a shushao tiao jian. They don't know when they are wrong. So they buy a coin, and it stops going up. It goes down, but they just hold the coin because they never had an invalidation. Okay, jiao tai di zhi shang. You must have an invalidation. So you must know when you are wrong. 你什么时候错了？你什么时候平常？举个例子，哥们，你约一个辣妹，然后你的交易论点就是这个辣妹有潜力当你的老婆，生你的鬼子，生你的儿子。You are 做多她。Now, what is your invalidation? When will you know that she's not the girl for you? When will you know that she's not the one? Well, it could be many things. It could be, as I listed here, 她不会做饭。拜拜了，他欠男友太多了，礼貌差，他不尊，他不尊重你。It could be any reason, but the point is, you need invalidation. You need something that says, okay, if this happens, I exit the trade. Okay, I shui diao. 我的辣妹 ，I leave my trade. I ping tang le, and I go find another coin, another trade. 你看看，韭菜和屌丝。是一样的，他们是一个东西。They both stay in toxic relationships. Why do they stay in that relationship? Because they don't have a shi xiao tiao jian, and they also lack the dan dan, lack the balls to exit the trade. Let's look at the different types of shi xiao tiao jian. Jia ge shi xiao tiao jian. So if you have your support at 20k and your resistance. At 30k, then your trade thesis could be that 20k is support, 30k is resistance, and your 时效条件就是 if 20k stops being support, then 
your trade idea was wrong and then you exit the trade immediately. Then we have time-based invalidation. You're sure your trade idea is that when the original doge dog, Kabusu, when he dies, he's 17 years old right now and he's looking quite unhealthy and poorly living in Japan. When he dies, that will be a big news event and maybe it will get a lot of attention to Dogecoin, GoGoB, and GoGoB will go up. That's your thesis. When he dies, Dogecoin goes up. And your Shishiao if the price of Dogecoin doesn't move for the first day, 24 hours after his death, then you close your position, okay? You were wrong. Ni tola, ni jo ping tangla, ping danla. Volatility. We also have volatility based invalidation. So for example, your trade idea could be that after the US presidential election in 2024, after the result is finalized and we have a winner, volatility will go up. And your invalidation could be that it's already been X hours and there's still no move in price, volatility has not returned, so exit the trade. Do you want to be right or do you want to make money? This is the most common problem I see with male traders because they can't admit when they're wrong. We are too proud. But when we are trading, we must admit when we're wrong because you will be wrong nearly 50% of the time. And when you're wrong, you must Ping tang, move on. And the only way to know you're wrong is to have a shi xiao tiao jian. And then when that invalidation is met, then you know, okay, I can say now rationally, I am wrong. My invalidation has been met. Close the trade. So before your next trade, I want you to write down what's my trade idea. Okay, I think X coin will go up. That's fine. Then write down your invalidation. When will I know I'm wrong? Write it down. And if you can't write it down, then you shouldn't enter the trade because you haven't put enough thought into the trade. Okay? You must write this down. Start diarying your trades. You'll become a much better trader if you write everything down, record everything. Ah, yes. So if you believe that crypto will go up over time, over the long term, for example, Ethereum will, will reach Shuan, Iwan, May Yuan, before 2030. That is a trade idea. That's a trade thesis. That's okay. But you can't bet on that with leverage because it's too much of a long time frame. The only tool you can use to bet on that trade idea is to buy and hold Itaifeng Xianhuo, Ethereum spot. That's the only way you can bet on a long time frame trade idea, okay? Hold spot. If you've got a long term view on a coin, then just buy and hold. Trading with leverage is for more short term ideas, okay? In the next month, week or days. Those ideas you can use leverage. But if it's a long term idea over many years, you just buy and hold spot. Stop loss, take profit and the risk to reward tool. How do we set our take profit, our zhi ying and our zhi sun? We must use this tool here, this long position tool here on trading view and then we have our take profit target and our stop loss target. And ideally you want a ratio of two to one or more. So this means that your max loss is one but your max gain is two. So it's a positive risk reward ratio. It's a positive risk reward trade. Using this is important. If we don't use this, this can happen. Come on. The price can go up and you can get very excited and it can go up, up, up and just keep going up and you think, yeah, I'm just going to hold. I'll just hold because I'm making lots of money. But eventually what will happen is the price will go down and all of your profits here you will have lost. But if you just used a take profit, you would have kept rational. Lung nanren. Have a plan, stick to the plan. Your plan will often be wrong and that's why we use a stop loss. Here's a funny video I made that shows the journey that most traders go through. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, 
Absolutely hilarious. The link to join Hauge Li Jiao Yijun Discord is below, Gurman. Now let's continue. Number common Joltai Tawu. Now in English, I often hear Joltai men say this. Oh, I'll take some profit just to break even and let the rest run. It's free money. It's a free trade because I broke even. That is low IQ bullshit. Low IQ fei hua. People also say, you can never go broke taking profit. When people say this, they are using emotion to manage their trade. They are taking profit, breaking even, so they feel safe and comfortable because we don't want to lose money. Because remember, the emotion of fear is stronger than the emotion of greed. So we, we are scared of losing money. So we try and take profit to protect ourselves. This is very natural and it's very emotional. If you need a friend, get a dog. The markets are not meant to make you feel comfortable. They're actually supposed to make you feel pain and uncomfortable. And the more you can deal with that stress and discomfort, the more money you will make. The reason why these decisions are bad and poor trading decisions is because the cost of moving your stop loss to break even is sacrificing the potential gain of your trade idea. So if you buy at this entry price and you set your stop loss below here, then the price goes up and then comes back down and you get scared because you don't want to lose your unrealized profit. So then you move your stop loss back up. You move your stop loss back to exactly where your entry price was. And then price comes down and hits your stop loss and then you break even. You don't lose any money and you don't make any money. That's very common for Joltai men. And if you think about it, what's happening there is you are selling at the price you just bought at. So here you were very bullish and then a few hours, a few days passed and then you became bearish at the exact same price. Why? The only reason you would do this, unless something crazy happens in the short term, which can happen, you can change your mind, that's fine. But normally, your trade idea is still intact and your invalidation, your shi xiao tiao jian hasn't been met. You just become emotional because you don't want to lose money and you get scared. Ni mei dan dan. You don't have the dan dan, the courage, to see through your trade idea. You need to stick with your plan. Okay, the next section is Gangang leverage, but before we start that, I want to suggest that you take a quick five minute break, Gurman. Have a coffee break, go for a walk, because scientific research has shown that we learn best when we learn for 20, 25 minutes, and then we have a five minute break. That's how our brains learn best. And this is a long video. So you can pause the video, take a quick coffee break, and I'll see you in five. Welcome back, Gurman. Leverage. What is leverage? Leverage is trading with money that you don't have. You are borrowing money from the exchange to trade a bigger position size. So very simple. If your account balance is $1,000 and you use 10x leverage, you can trade a position of $10,000. If you use 100x leverage, you can trade a position size of $100,000. Wow, why are you using 10x One of the common mistakes with leverage is that it doesn't tell you any information on its own. Have a look at this, Gumman. Look at my Pepe Long, I'm using 20x leverage here, okay? And I have a big gain here. You don't actually know anything about my trade looking at this. All you know is 
I use 20x leverage and you know my entry and exit price. But you don't know the most important thing about this trade, which is the position size. So you have three things you must know about every trade. The position size, Tang Wei Da Xiao, the Bao Zheng Jin, the margin, and the leverage used. Just because you use more leverage, that doesn't mean you will make more profit. So to understand leverage, you need to understand margin, Bao Zheng Jin, and position size. And this is called capital at risk, Feng Shen Ziben. The correct way to study leverage is to think about it like the Forex traders use it and teach it. And what you often hear in Forex is only risk one to 2% of your account per trade. So for example, you have $10,000 in your trading account. So you have $10,000 of risk capital, but this doesn't mean you will risk $10,000 on one trade. No, you will only risk 1% of your account, so $100 on one trade. So you risk $100 per trade and you can use eBay Bay Gangan. You can use 100x leverage, so you're trading a position size of $10,000. So you're trading a position size of your entire account, but you're only risking 1% of your account. And that's how people think about leverage. You're actually minimizing your risk because you don't want to risk your entire account balance on one trade. So we want to think about risk capital. How much dollar is at risk per trade? You only risk 1% of your account per trade, then you can only lose $100 per trade. You've minimized your risk. And that's how professionals think about leverage. They think about how can I reduce my risk, reduce my capital at risk. Now, the danger of leverage is obviously baotang. Uh, at this price, you will lose all of your capital at risk. So you must understand this, Gumman. Now, when you trade on an exchange like BitGet, in this case, this is BitGet, you will first see the screen to your left, and you can see that I am longing Bitcoin at the price of $30,000. And my position size is $200,000, okay? And that's Leo, uh, Leo, Dien, Leo, 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 BTC, okay? So it's 6.6 .6 Bitcoins, okay? It's a big position size, $200,000. Now, what I want to show you here is the Gentung. You can look at the Gentung Jia, which is $27,000. That is the price that I will lose my margin or capital at risk. When Bitcoin goes down below $27,000, I lose everything. Now, when you click on my rule, you will see the picture to your right, which is the Chueren Shadan. So we look at Yuji Jian Tang Jia, and that is your Bao Tang Jia, that is your liquidation price. Look at that, 27,100. If the price goes down below that, I lose my capital at risk. How much is my capital at risk? It is my Bao Zheng Jin. My Bao Zheng Jin is $20,000. So my Bao Zheng Jin is $20,000 and my leverage, my Gang Gun is 10X. So my position size is $20,000 times 10, which is $200,000. There are two types of Bao Zheng Jin Mo Shi. There is Quan Tang and Zhu Tang. This is very important. Government Hebei Zhang Yao, Ni Bi Xu Xue Hui Jaga. Cross margin Quan Tang Mo Shi is when you use all the money in your account as margin for all of your positions. When you get liquidated, you will lose all of your account balance. Okay, bye bye le. You will lose everything in your account. But isolated margin Zhu Tang Mo Shi is separate, feng kai de, du li de. You will only use the margin you post for that specific position, okay? For example, I am using zhu tang, you can see here, zhu tang. And therefore, I will only lose my bao zheng jin of $20,000. So if the price goes below my jian tang jia of 27,000, I will lose the margin 
I put up for this position, which is $20,000. So I will only lose the amount of margin, the Bao Zhang Jin, I put up for this position. I hope that makes sense, Gumman. It is actually quite complicated, isn't it? So in crypto, you always have a significant risk of the exchange going bankrupt and stealing all your money like FTX did. The FTX risk exists in every exchange, Binance, BitGet, every exchange. There were many popular funds that kept all of their money, hundreds of millions of dollars, professional fund managers, they kept all of their money in FTX and they lost it all, right? So we must be smarter than them. They were stupid, stupid, dumb mistake. In crypto, you can never keep all of your money in one place. So my example here is if your portfolio value is $100,000, you should not put all that money in one exchange. No, too risky. You can put 20% of your portfolio, $20,000 on an exchange, keep 80% of your portfolio safe um, on a hardware wallet or spread out in different places. And then on your exchange, you can use 5X leverage. So you're trading a position size of $100,000, okay? That's why leverage is useful because you can use leverage to minimize your risk, to minimize your ping tai dui shou feng xian, your counterparty risk. A good question to ask yourself, Gumman, is the question at the bottom here. If every single centralized exchange goes bankrupt today, right now, they steal your money now, what percentage of your portfolio would you lose? And this means you should also rebalance and take money out of an exchange, okay? In the bull market, my call options on Deribit went up a lot, 10, 20, 30x. And so at one point, I had half, over half, over 50% of my portfolio was on Deribit because I made so much money on Deribit. And therefore, I had to take money out of Deribit because there was too much risk on one exchange. If Deribit would go bankrupt, I would lose all my money, okay? So you must keep rebalancing and make sure you don't have too many eggs in one basket. Survive. Okay, well, Zui Aida, conviction. Gao Xin Xin. All the best traders in the world, go man, like George Soros, Stan Druckenmiller, Hauge Lee, we all believe in this idea of conviction. When you have high conviction, you must bet more. So when we say the typical advice for beginner traders is bet one to two percent of your account on each trade, that is when you have di xin xin, when you have low conviction. Because when you have low conviction, you should have low risk, okay? But when you have high conviction, you must bet more. You must bet more. Because for me personally, about 90% of my profit all comes from one or two trades a year. I've said three or five trades there, but sometimes it's even less. It's like one or two trades a year. That's where I make the bulk of my profit because certain trades I have very high conviction and I bet more. There's been three trades this year which looking back, if you had high conviction, they were the easy money trades. This is the easy money, okay? Number one, Silicon Valley Bank bankruptcy, the bailout from the Fed, Bitcoin was at 20K, long Bitcoin at 20K with a size. Number two, when Twitter changed the logo to Dogecoin, uh, if you saw that news early, like we did in Hauge Li Jiao Jun, you just long doge, like I did. I long doge, but my sizing was a little bit too small and doge like 2 x in two days or something. Um, that was a very easy trade if you saw it early. Number three, the BlackRock ETF news, long 25K. All of these three trades I actually took, I longed. But my conviction wasn't that high, so my sizing wasn't, wasn't that big. My sizing should have been bigger. Because I made profit on all of these three trades, but I could have made much more if my position sizing was bigger. And I've got here, Tung Wei Gui Mo Shi Chi. Sizing is everything. When you have high conviction, your sizing must be big. And one of my trading mentors says this, he says, when you have high conviction in a trade, you should ask yourself this question, 
Will the profit from this trade change my life? If the trade works out and you make profit and that profit, if that won't change your life, Nime or Dandan, your sizing is too small. You need to increase your sizing. So as an example, if you have a $100,000 account and you have high conviction in a trade, but you only bet $10,000 on the trade, you make 50% and so your profit is only $5,000, you're not a real man because you, you're not betting enough. You need to bet more if you have high conviction. So as an example, you can bet your margin on your long can be 20% of your portfolio, which would be Liang Wan. And you can use 5x leverage. So your position size is Shi Wan. Set your stop loss, set your take profit, risk reward, sensible trading. But if you make 50%, you will make $50,000. And that would be life-changing money if you only own $100,000. But the point here is not to get rich quick, okay? No, we don't want to get rich quick. The point here is to develop a system. So when you do have high conviction, you naturally bet more, okay? When you have low conviction, you bet less, less risk. When you have high conviction, you take more risk. But if you are a Zhou Tai, if you're a Xin Shou, then ni bu kanang yo gao xin xin. You can't have high conviction if you're a beginner because you have no experience, okay? Conviction comes from experience. So you should be risking only one to 2% per trade if you are a beginner because that's how you learn, okay? You must do that to learn. And that's perfectly okay, that's fine. Once you learn, then you will start to develop more confidence and conviction and you can start taking more risk. But if you're a beginner, you can't have conviction. You should not be taking much risk. So what's I jelly? I do qua ah, what's I quad zi because I had experience of the last bear market, I had high conviction that 15, 16k was the bottom, the Bitcoin bottom in December. And that's why I went back in. I, I was in dollars, I was all in dollars before that because I sold 60K. Um, again, I had conviction that 60K was probably the top, that's why I sold. And then I went back in because I saw many different things, okay? I saw, you know, FTX happen, depression, people losing lots of money, lots of different things that, and in my head, all these things came together and I thought, this is probably the bottom. And I was so confident that I, uh, I put my, most of my portfolio, over 50% of my portfolio back in to crypto. But also I made a video um, telling people why I thought this is probably the bottom. That is conviction, okay? Telling other people what you believe because you believe it strongly. So that's just me um, stroking my ego there, actually. So yeah, what a big gay leash, for sure. This is also true for lame, by the way, German. If you have no experience, zero experience with lame, then how will you have gao xin xin, high conviction that this lame should be your wife and mother your sons? you won't have the conviction because you have no experience. So that's why you should keep trading, keep trying different things and learning. And then when you see an opportunity, you'll be able to identify it, take risk, da dan dan, sha shou, boom, go for the home run. It takes courage to be a pig. Obviously, if you haven't already, join Haogeli Jiao Yidrun, the Discord server. There's a lot of free information in there and join the VIP trend with much more information. I also post my trades in there more recently. So join that. Yong wo de yo hui lian jie ju zi bit ge bing ru jin. Liu bai liu shi liu mei yuan. And then send me your ID and you're in the VIP trend. So I shall see you in the VIP trend. Dieni ge zan german ping go lun. And share this to any german you know that wants to learn about trading. Hope you enjoyed the course, german.